been a long wait since Square announced Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Crystal Bears for Nintendo Wii four and a half years ago. In its long-running development time, the game morphed from one style to another, hack and slash RPG to pure adventure game, and ultimately rested on what you're seeing here. There's some great concepts to see, an interesting world to explore, but in the end the total package is far from polished, and ultimately just not that much fun. Girls, we have to win. No problem! We'll show them what's what. Alright then, let's go! Yeah! Square's done a truly impressive job in crafting the world around Crystal Bears. A century has passed since the original GameCube game, and in that time the world has undergone a great war that's driven the magic-using Lilty tribe to near extinction. Players take the role of Lael, a young crystal bear that's looked at the world as, well, an abomination due to the bear's inherent abilities to use magic. All over the game there's evidence that the world has moved on, bringing in everything from crystal-powered flying ships to automatic firearms. This is far from your typical Final Fantasy. The world is well-crafted overall, as is the game's general interface and award system. Players earn medals for in-game achievements, there's plenty of treasure to collect and then fuse into new items, and while you won't find full RPG stats, there's at least a little progression in your character through some basic equipment upgrades. Unfortunately, the polish just isn't there. While cinematic story sequences add a nice touch to it all, the voice acting is stale and far from convincing. Oh man, what is this? The story itself even tends to drag on, despite having a good third or so of the game spent entirely towards watching scripted sequences. It's predictable, and the pacing just isn't there. Whoa. On the gameplay side of things, Crystal Bears tries to mix things up from previous games in the series, but the end result isn't too much to get excited about. Battles are fun, if not a little sparse, have you master different enemies and then use their own abilities to your advantage. It's a simple system that hinges around Lael's force-like gravity powers, and outside of a few instances where motion translating went a little wrong during play, I did have a good time exploring the combat system and getting into the real meat of the game. The catch, though? There isn't that much meat to be found. Rather than embracing and then refining the battle mechanics and adding in story where necessary, Crystal Bears is intended to be a game that the entire family, even Grandma, can play. Those are Square's words, not mine. What does that really mean? Well, for every boss battle and platforming segment, you'll find a handful of minigame challenges to complete, and it just doesn't work. Some of the concepts are neat, such as surfing down a river, participating in chocobo races, or sneaking through a stealth mission on a train, but the execution just isn't there. You end up spending as much time playing with girls on a beach or running through long scripted sequences as you do actually battling or getting into the bulk of the story. See, these challenges are all well and good, and some of them are even really fun while they're going on, but it comes at the sacrifice of a stronger core game. The game often ignores some of Wii's strong points, with all the camera work, for example, being done with the D-pad rather than turning via the pointer. For a game that's also out to be easy to pick up and play, there's no intuitive map system or compass, so players that are looking for their destination are going to waste a lot of time between missions or looking for their next story sequence. The list goes on and on, but the bottom line is that Crystal Bears just never really comes together into a full, fun overall package. Crystal Bears pushes the Nintendo exclusive franchise into a whole new direction, and unfortunately it still needs a lot of work to prove itself worthy of the Final Fantasy name. The game had a lot of promise, but in the end it proves that not every title needs to be geared towards every single gamer across Wii. There's still some fun to be had, but it'll take the most loyal and forgiving Final Fantasy fans to find it. For my full written review, head on over to IGN.com. <laughs>